Today, we observe the 505th anniversary of the Reformation, a movement that began when Martin Luther posted his 95 theses to the door of the Castle Church in Wittenberg, Germany. At the heart of Luther's belief was the deep conviction that God's grace is given freely to all people. God's promise of salvation is not based on our good works, but on the gift of grace in Christ's death and resurrection. More than 500 years later, I'm happy to say the Lutheran movement is alive and well. Sunday after Sunday, the good news is proclaimed in accordance with scripture. In hundreds of languages and dialects, God's promise of grace, reconciliation, and freedom is received and celebrated in places Martin Luther never knew existed. We are part of a worldwide family. This year, we celebrate the 500th anniversary of Luther's translation of the New Testament from ancient Greek into German, the language of the people. This translation paved the way for other translations of the Bible, making it accessible to people both at church and in their homes. It's important to remember the events of the 16th century, but what we really need to focus on today is what it means to be Lutheran in the 21st century. What does it mean for the Lutheran World Federation's 149 member churches representing over 77 million members in 99 countries that are exploring Lutheran identity? What will our Lutheran identity be in the ELCA? We still treasure our immigrant roots and we should, but if our ethnic identities become synonymous with Lutheran identity, we are missing the mark. The gospel and Luther's clear exposition of it transcends human boundaries. When a single culture's vernacular becomes the established language of the people, we hinder the gospel's free course in the world. We can become an alternative face of Christianity in the culture, one that moves across divisions, is meant for all, and that is a free and liberating gift. Be well, dear church.